Yes, am I audible now? Please put your present. Please put in chat. Yes, hope I'm audible to everyone. So can I just quickly have in the chat, those who are completely new today, who didn't attend completely last week, completely attending for the first time today. Okay, not the one who attended already, especially the people who are completely new. Okay. So, okay, fine. Uh, right now, how we're gonna handle this entire session is to, we're gonna have it for def def definitely for three hours. I'll discuss on agenda part, everything from my end, okay? So, going ahead, I uh, you may not get a chance to uh, speak for, you know, immediately, but definitely at a particular point of time, I'll be unmuting everyone to clarify your doubts. You can just, I want all of you to switch on your, switch off your videos. I don't want anyone to switch on your videos that may interrupt others. If anyone switched on your video and, and if anyone is getting interrupted, those people who are getting interrupted, you have a minimize button for that video, you can immediately minimize it. Okay, at the top of it, if a video got switched on, if someone video got switched on, you have an option to minimize that option. Okay, just minimize it and keep it. So, so that no one will be visible for you through the video. First thing. The second one is, uh, let me give few instructions which we need to follow. Uh, money, uh, you'll not get a recording for this session because, because of our security policies, you'll not get any recordings. So till, until, until you understand, uh, you just stay till the end of the session, you will be getting the videos. At least we can speak a little bit. My, my team will be taking the list who are attending the, till the end of, the, they'll be providing, they'll be asking to provide the personal email IDs and then they, they'll be tagged to the video. Yeah. Sure. So that's a discussion is still going on. That's one, that one, that one part. The second part is today we're gonna see the completely the streaming APIs, streaming information. Uh, I'm not sure how many people who attended last week are attending today. Due to some technical issues, I'm unable to uh, do hands-on last week, but somehow we're gonna start from the scratch today to have a full-fledged session on streaming. I'll uh, Kafka, Spark, Streaming, Naifa, and Cassandra. So the one, the, I hope everyone can hear me, right? Just minimize that bot if anyone can switch off your video, switch on your video. That's one part. The second thing is, if you are just leaving the session, please put a message in the chat to leave. Just the reason that we, we, are, we are on track. Those who are joining to the session, we'd be on having a track of it so that to provide the video access everything. So if you're just leaving the session, just put me a message in the, in the chat. That will really help us. Right? Okay, just give me one minute guys, just give me one minute.
yeah sorry guys sorry for the sorry for the delay so here uh, the things which the flow which you see today in the in the flow which you are seeing uh, that we're gonna execute today completely hands-on we're gonna get the streaming data and if everything we're gonna see it right so as a part of our hands-on hands-on part we're gonna execute that and show you today that's the first thing the second one is uh, what we're gonna see today what is the agenda for today's session okay so let me write it down in a separate notepad for just for uh, just for your for your information i'll just write everything in a particular notepad so as i wrote last week so let me start from the start first of all we're gonna see introduction for the data till that till, till that we're gonna see about the introduction of the data okay first thing the second one is introduction for the streaming data introduction for the streaming data okay what about the streaming data we're gonna see then then we're gonna discuss then we're gonna discuss on message king mq then we're gonna discuss on kafka okay we're gonna discuss on kafka what is kafka is all about then we're gonna see kafka hands-on then we're gonna see architecture the entire architecture what we're gonna discuss in hands-on so we'll discussing on entire architecture what we're discussing and we're gonna see knife kafka integration knife kafka integration then spark streaming intro spark streaming core spark kafka integration our code from scratch a streaming you have a template so i'll be i'll be pasting it in step by step in eclipse i'll be explaining each and everything in spark code i will be explaining how that code actually works okay spark code from scratch for streaming that next we're gonna do then process the data and place it in cassandra that's not what we will discuss. Any doubts with this agenda today? Good. All good with this agenda. Please post it, post it in the chat. Yeah. So you may not be having access to chat other with others also. So in between, I'll be unmuting you all of you to get your opinions or get your doubts every doubt should be clarified unless until if i feel that doubt can be clarified at that moment i'll clarify it or else i'll clarify later or i'll clarify you personally after the workshop yep we're gonna use scala srikant we're gonna use the language of scala for today uh gaurav i have started a screen share please check hope everyone can able to see my screen yeah okay so first of all those who are completely new to the data background okay those who are completely new to the data background we're going to discuss on what is what is the data is all about okay what is data first let's go ahead with the slide okay let's get started so this is the agenda for today which i just wrote it down there what is data first of all what is the use of data maybe those who attended last week might be attending today please bear for just one hour what we covered last week we're going to cover it for the same one hour then we'll continue further for the hands on please bear it it is not mistake yeah uh we'll discuss we'll discuss all of your questions do we need any coding or scripting knowledge to work on spark we definitely will discuss and clarify all of your all of your doubts okay we'll discuss for the same so coming to yeah coming to your data okay what data can do okay i'm just un i'm just unmuting everyone i mean you have, you have access to unmute but don't try it immediately okay so just those who can able to clarify what is data first of all how what is data and how it is useful for us any clever answers what is data any answers from every anyone uh, data is basically to aid uh, insights uh, to get insights and uh, to make uh, uh, decision making business decision making for the Perfect. higher management 
perfect what yeah in what in what cases data will definitely help us okay we, we just samir has samir right who just informed us samir right that's right yeah so samir has just told data can able to do the decision making yes true you know data can data can just it, it can reverse the world data is very costly data can reverse the world as much as data you have you can achieve things definitely you can achieve things so say for example how the data is completely new how the data can able to change the entire business market what is this data all about those who are new to this data maybe not from anyone from non data background completely here please put it in the chat anyone here non data background yes so if you see about the data okay so if you, what data can do data can do wonders why see from we have been we have been in the software industry for past many years why only data background people the data which we think about maybe yeah programming is to agree, agree for that but wherever who are who are staying in a data background okay they are highly paid they are high on high on uh, they are other 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 people will come to this data warehousing data account data content why the people are migrating towards the data part why data is always a kind of very costly very it has very high market how the data how the market for data has been changing and changing in software industry initially as i told you last week initially we used to have an sql developers rdbms developers we used to process the data in rdbms right once we got the data into rdbms we used to do some query and do the analytics analytics is nothing but decision making what kind of decision we can make finally what decision we can make out of this data that's a first step right so secondly okay secondly after rsql developers we something we got something as data warehousing after rdbms we got something as data warehousing wow data warehousing people are high on market then we paid again again we got etl etl development informatica data stage got into very very high level then people started moving out to big data data processing what is big big data what is this high level of data we are processing that's again high on market as again we consider more again we got a chance to work on data science what is this data science again what is machine learning again what is this artificial intelligence again again it works on data so currently the market is so far high for data but why they that unless until there is a demand there might there not be an effect there should be more supply then only there will be in hot demand right there should be more supply as a data engineers data warehousing etl developers big data developers data science developers are high on market definitely there should be a supply right definitely there should be a supply that is one of the reasons what should be the supply is all about what can do using data what how people are achieving things using data for us sitting in a we are just sitting in a sitting in a city and then working for a company maybe software engineers in a very high level of the business market very less people of this very less percentage of people are aware of what data is doing let me give a small information which we discussed last week as well right uh, those who are aware of it don't answer in the chat but those yes i am i hope i am audible to everyone right yes okay so what what actually what data has has done so far in our day to day life everything is a data you go to any supermarket he'll give a bill data around you check around you check around you what what you have right now i'm talking in zoom meeting that my voice is reaching your uh, reaching your speakers data there is also data the things around you when you buy, when you buy a tea in front of uh, you have a laptop in front of you you have a cell phone in front of you your cell phone was bought they gave a bill that's a data if you're buying a mi phone or oppo phone oppo will be knowing that you bought it that's a data when you bought it he has the information in what date he has the information which model he has the information which sim card has been inserted he has the information what he going to do using information what why, why data is so again what we just we just know that we are buying the data we are going to supermarket we are buying some products that's it we are buying we are going e commerce that's a very big word e commerce is a very big word right now digital e commerce is very big word right right now whatever we need we need to book it in swiggy 
to eat. We shop, go for Flipkart, Snapdeal or Amazon. Right? To clean our home, there is an app, Urban Clan. So, everything is becoming here information. I am providing a GPS location. Uber is coming and picking me and going. I am I'm booking a cab. He's coming and going. So, everything is a data here. Everything in the world around you, if you start to check everything in the world, they, if data has been captured, if you have an entire data, they can easily do a business. Okay, nobody, I'm not sure how many of you got this question in you. I got the question. Such questions I got. Google is providing a free services for your search engines. Google is providing a free search engine uh, services, right? He's providing a lot of search engines. Now you can search a lot of information inside it and he's providing a lot of information for you. But how come Google is, how Google making making money out of it? Unless until, there's a top, there's a top most company. Their revenues on hundreds of billions. Where they're making the money out of it. That's something very big, right? Facebook, well, take Facebook, he's the sixth most, sixth most richest person in the world. He never asked a penny for us. From us, he never asked a penny. He didn't got a money from us so far to create a profile. But he is never leaving us to delete our profile. He's not leaving us to delete our profile. He sent so many reminders. Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? Any issues? Tell me, tell me, tell me. But what he gonna gain out of it? How he becomes sixth richest person? Right? So he lives on data. Data is so huge. Data can do wonders. Okay. What is this data? Why data can do wonders? How come data can able to do the wonders? So coming to the next step. Okay. First, you got some information on data, isn't it? You got information on data, guys. Basic information on data. Okay. Coming to the data. Coming to a data analytics, what can he, what can we achieve through analytics? Okay, data has been captured. We have a TVs of data X. What has been achieved in our day-to-day -day life? I'll come to the real-time examples. Okay, if I say what my client is achieving, what is my company's the things which I worked are achieving, it's a different story. I'll come to that. But if I think about data man, data analytics, what analytics can be done out of it? Launching an ATM, launching an ATM in a particular place needs a lot of analytics. Launching a launching an ATM in a day-to-day -day life in a particular place by a bank need a lot of analytics. Whether it's the right place, whether I have a customers there, whether I have a people there, how many people have ATM have ATM cards there? What is the development of the city place? Yeah, we just need such information. Even we got some information, we paste some data in the Excel sheet and we do the process and take a sum and count in our Excel or open office calc, right? That is also an analytics. Right now, we are living in the world of analytics. We are right now, we are living in the world of digital analytics. That's something very important for you to understand. Digital analytics. Okay, we are, we are stating in a very good digital analytics. This current digital analytics are doing wonders with the data which we have. Think about any giant companies. Think about any big companies. Microsoft, Google, Facebook. The, the champs, they are the, they are the corporate champs. They live on data. They completely live on data. Right? How come? Okay. I, I posed the same question last, last week, right? Let me post the same question. Recently, this let me post the same question. Recently, about, about a year ago or a couple of years, almost one and a half years ago. Mark Zuckerberg was, a couple of years ago, I believe, Mark Zuckerberg was called to the Congress uh, government in US and post, post, posted a lot of questions to him. A lot of questions. They almost racked them, ragged them. What is the reason behind it? Anyone know that? Guys who are done last week, don't answer, don't answer it. Okay. Data leakage, okay, data stealing. Okay, Gaurav Verma is saying data stealing. Data leakage here. Yeah. Any cloud or cloud more answers? Okay, what he what he did after stealing the data? After after fetching the data from all the Facebook users, what he what he has done? Yes, exactly. Done sentiment analysis. Perfect. Perfect. If he got any information regarding the Donald Trump, 
if anyone is speaking about the donald trump in facebook messenger or facebook okay he just gave a data to cambridge analytica company cambridge analytica it's a subsidiary of donald trump he is the cambridge analytica played a vital role in analytics in gathering the data doing the data processing like doing the proper analytics to check what people are feeling about donald trump that changed the elections election uh, usage so cambridge analytica got all the data about the donald trump what we we people talk about donald trump entire globe or especially the us us market he fetched and finally he came to know at least donald trump government came to know where they can achieve better in which areas they are lagging what people are talking about them they can't submit it to each one's homes to go to see what they are talking right so that donald trump for the donald trump government data made a very vital role data processing made a very vital role in case of us elections last time that's the reason he sold the data to them that's why he was question but they can't do anything it's legally done we 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 are having a check we are having a check in facebook i'm ready to hold my media media and sense not only facebook information guys not only facebook is not only taking the data from facebook facebook is also fetching the data from our all applications from all our applications facebook is fetching the data right so moreover so we are in a particular state where data is high in costly if someone is giving a lot of data about the people but people are ready to buy people are ready to accept android coming to android right android os is free for us like at least they can we can we can cost some bucks android applications are free so everything is about data data fetching they can do wonders using the data they can do analytics they can they can process it save it so finally yes data is on so huge demand right data is on high demand definitely data is on very high demand like how we are processing the data where he is saving the data processing the data two major issues when we face with the data is where i can store the data where i can process the data that's a two major issues right then it's a big story before it used to be a different story like big data came into picture we got some analytics we got some hadoop distributed file system we got the processing tools like hive and spark they have achieved it true so we got a proper frameworks now who can withstand tbs tbs of data right now we are just moving to hexa of data hexabytes hexabytes comes after tbs petabytes hexabytes in future it may reach zettabyte yottabyte protobyte also before we end up our life definitely maybe in my case if before i end up in life maybe i may hear about geobyte also there's something very very big so data is getting huge is becoming exponential every day how many websites are getting launched how many people are creating creating accounts so it's all about data data is on demand is very costly that's the reason data warehousing data everyone can able to do what us but companies run behind what behind data so data engineers are high on demand number one number two okay so coming to data there there are at least two types of data okay two types of informations of data the first one is batch data other one is streaming data in other words we call it as real time okay let me give a very information on this real time streaming information okay streaming data okay batch data what is batch data any idea what is batch data any answers on batch data you can unmute now and answer what is batch data it's a history of data history of data okay historical data the okay. data which comes in regular intervals like daily weekly or hourly also exactly this is actually at least at least it reaches close to the answer see batch data is something not historical not only historical you can say not only historical batch data is something batch data processing batch data is nothing but i am taking a dump of data we'll do a, we'll do a reporting most probably we'll think about msba business intelligence power bi like report creations so that is nothing but we are almost creating a batch information batch processing and then we provide the analytic results analytics results fine we get the data today morning 
tomorrow morning today morning i got the data tomorrow morning i can give the report to them that is batch data that's it today morning i got the data so far tomorrow morning i'll give the report to them they'll on top of it they'll do some analytics that's data that's batch data say for example i work for one of the clients known as hp hebert packet hebert packet initially they used to have in batch data then they move on to real time few few modules coming to batch data okay what kind of data processing they have used in batch data is uh in a, except last two months of every year from, till jan to almost september or october they'll get a batch of information every day in the morning for us then they'll trigger all our jobs and the the required results they want how many customers purchased today such a kind of transformations how many we work for e-commerce hp e-commerce okay how many people from which area we got so much so many products has been sold who was requesting which countries are requesting for hp products how many people are calling to the customer care people how many issues got resolved how many defects found such a kind of analytics they'll give all the dump of data every day morning to the particular day we'll pro we'll trigger all the jobs accordingly and we provide the analytical results in a high table in big data or in a report format we generate a file or report format sometimes we generate an excel sheet and give it to them next day they will do and give the solutions to them but world is completely changing because i worked for hp 3 and of year 4 to 4 years ago world is completely changing do you think customers are ready to wait for hours or one day definitely not people are running behind instant i mean instant decisions instant solution solution given we we have to stick on to instant I mean to say uh, we have to be very cautious about instant results right so that is the reason people started moving to real time activities in between there is interactive you can ignore that for now in between batch and streaming we have something known as interactive better than batch less than streaming coming to real time activity okay let me pose the same question real time activity we are not ready to wait for anything coming to real time activity what kind of applications we use of real time streaming information what kind of applications i'm just unmuting everyone those who haven't attended last week please answer because i already spoke regarding the same in last week those on you today what is actually the real time streaming information we have in our applications we are using every day what kind of application they are using kafka uh, we can use for that streaming data on daily life no i mean i'm just asking applications or software applications facebook facebook it's uh, google maps google maps good job google maps facebook twitter whatsapp facebook twitter instagram google maps ola uber everything amazon yes yes so so we do have something known as such a kind of applications we do have say for example i what is this real time real time is nothing but just as i told last week just immediate immediate data is keep on coming to me i have to immediately process and deliver to the destination systems data is keep on pushing how can i how can i reach it to the downstream systems immediately the data should be immediately you can we we still thinking okay streaming is nothing but the video video streaming okay think about the video streaming hotstar streaming which we discuss a lot hotstar streaming right what is it hotstar streaming mean the camera is capturing the uh, capturing the uh, cricket match in adelaide or lots in uk within within few seconds delay that is reaching to your phones you people really use your hotstar if the match that cricket match data is reaching your hotstar tomorrow morning if the match is happening today definitely no will will not subscribe first of all right so we gonna we are we are in a particular state where instant applications are on high demand instant application are paid more we i can do business if i am creating an instant application whatsapp if i'm sending any messages right now if it is reaching tomorrow morning will you use whatsapp again it's a data right hi is also a data how are you is also a data that is reaching to the downstream systems immediately maybe the data size is less i agree data size might be less but it is reaching to the downstream systems right immediately getting it all of you
Any questions here? Okay, so that's that's what is streaming immediate information. Okay, so that's what the that's why my WhatsApp, Facebook, Twitter are working. Immediately, once one person comments something, see, Gopi is asking me in WhatsApp we have both streaming and batch data or only streaming data. See, Gopi, uh, batch data is nothing but immediately it is prop processing and reaching your other phone, right? Maybe that phone might not be switched on or switched off or net is not connected, but at least it is available to the other phone, right? Immediately, within seconds. I send it, I sent a data, I send a hi, it reached to the WhatsApp server, it got processed and it reaches to only to a system that is also processing, right? If I send a message, it is reaching only to you. That's also streaming, that's also real time. So that data is getting processed, it is going to WhatsApp servers, it is getting processed and reaching your phone. That is a completely real time. So that's actually a real time. So what are the applications is with immediate? See, once you used to have text messages, text messages, it's a network, I do understand. But do we start using text messages after WhatsApp and internet came into market? Like, definitely no. Right? So the applications which we are using currently, all the real time streamings are high on demand. We use a lot of applications like that. Okay. Think about Uber, right? The things which we discussed, guys, the one quarter last week we discussed, right? About Uber applications. What Uber is doing? We book a cab, the cab will uh, cab will reach you. Right, the cab will the cab will reach on on your doorstep within few minutes. You can also check Uber status, how much how much distance the cab is going, how much distance your cab is coming in, how many minutes the cab can reach. Maybe there is a delay. Again, I'll come to that later. Why the delay appears when it is showing? It will suddenly show five minutes. Suddenly it comes into one minute. Driver arrive. Driver gets arrived in front of you, but still your uh, your phone shows one minute. To delay so we will ignore it we'll think okay that's a system issue there are a lot of things happening at the back end we'll discuss about that in a few minutes so currently the streaming applications we, we again we run out of instant decisions we have to click cap should come in front of me streaming it's an instantaneous results so just think about the future what are the applications we're gonna get what are the what, are, what kind of world we're going to live in the future? Everything becomes instantaneous. Let me give up one of the applications which I worked on. Okay. I worked on in one of the applications. Uh, I worked on one of the applications, one of the clients who is a top most telecom giant in Australia. My people know. My batch people also connected here today. My two bad people are connected here today. Those people may be knowing. Like I working for, uh, I worked for one of the telecom giant of Australia. One of the, he is the only telecom giant in Australia. You can know the name, but I can't disclose it. So that particular person, what he want us to develop the develop the application is customer support people will call you when he raise the constraints to the customer support. When the customer is calling to the customer support, the data streamed data should be available in the dashboard for the customer to support. Customer support person immediately once I give a customer ID, customer is calling, right? Once I give the customer ID of that particular customer, I need the uh, data about the streaming data, streaming and information about that person, how much broadband, how much speed the broadband is going for him. Where is the issue? He, he need he's he'll be having a dashboard. In the dashboard, you, you need a customer information data, streaming from customer information data, how much does how much uh, client is providing the information to them. How much data is moving to him? How much data is consuming? If the data is available, to make the data available, any customer can call it anytime to the customer support. Any customer can call it anytime to the customer support. Right? So we have to make the data available, the streaming data, all the broadband information, all the Internet of Things information, all the information we need to drag it. We need to stream the data 
using Spark, and we need to put it to Cassandra tables. Through the Cassandra tables, they, like we have UI connected, the dashboard is connected. So we worked on such application. Any, it is in live right now. If a customer, if a customer, if a customer calls to a customer care, the customer called a customer care, customer care person immediately can assist him. This is an issue. I can't go deeper with the business requirement. I'm just telling you in a very high level since I can't disclose it. So customer support person can immediately have to assist him. That's where the streaming information making available. That's where streaming information is on demand. We have to stream the data every second, stream the data. Customer might feel issues at any time, but we have to make the data available for them. What, what is five minutes ago data? How much data has been sent to the customer? What is three minutes ago data has been sent? Before the customer calls to the customer support, we need to make data available to the customer support. How much data available last three minutes? How much he spent, how much he consumed last one day? How much he spent? The dashboard consists of seven panels. First panel, three minutes ago. Second panel, 20 minutes ago. Third panel, one day ago. Fourth panel, one week ago. Fifth panel, almost 10 days ago. Sixth panel, one month ago. Seventh panel, it's all about, uh, panel consists of all the transformations, calculations, we put it. Through that, immediately you can do the analytics. Okay, this is where the issue went wrong. You don't worry, I'll send a truck roll. I'll send a person to resolve it. This is where it went wrong. If a customer support person is taking a lot of time to assist to the customer, customer might be fed up, he may go out of the network. Analytics is done in streaming information, streaming part there. There also data streaming happens. Getting it all of you, how, how it is increasing the business? Yes? Any questions here? I just unmuted all of you. Any questions here? Any questions? If not, can I get no? Please. Please mute if you don't have anything to speak, please. Manikanta, Kiran, thank you. So that's where the streaming information is highly on demand. Okay. Streaming is fine. Okay. Finally, the client, I mean, the big giants decided, okay, let's go for streaming because streaming is very huge. It's going to be very high demand on streaming, right? Very high demand on streaming. Future, my application going to develop a lot. But how to develop the application? That's what we're going to do. This is just a theory part for the first one hour. Now we're going to develop such application. Now. What does that information mean? What I going to do achieve, achieve through that? What, how to achieve this? How to achieve this? Say for example, say for example, Hotstar, uh, hot, just let, let me put it this way. You send a high message to, to your friend. You send a high message to, to your friend. But server is not responding. Might be act of God I mean, if it is not responding. Okay, very worst case, very, very, very worst case, okay, but it start working. Your high got missed. It didn't reach your uh, friend. Maybe just high. If it is a very serious message, if it is not reaching a friend, if there is a data loss, and he comes to say that I already sent you, it didn't reach you. For example, it's a very important message. If it, is, if it didn't reach you, you'll be definitely fed up. Life costing information, right? Say you book a cab, you book the cab. That request is keep on revolving, keep on revolving, keep on revolving. That request has been sent, but server is not ready to take your request. Server is damn busy. We have to think all these limitations to, to develop the streaming applications. We have to think about all the limitations. The main, the topmost limitation where we fall is when the data reaches to the server or other system, okay, there is a chance for to miss the data. There is a chance for the data to get lost. There's a chance for the data to get lost. Yeah, 
so this is streaming of information right say for example every second your match is getting streamed your if the photographer is capturing the information sending to the servers or star and it is reaching to your downstream systems every second every millisecond data is captured if a server can't able to withstand so many requests a server is busy a server is not responding the processing servers it is reaching it reaching the server and it will reach you so if there is a data loss definitely you will not opt to it but you never faced it any streaming applications you are you are, you are using if you know you will face the delay but the data will not be lost to the max 98% you may face the delay in delivering the data but you might have never faced there is a loss in the data agreed all of you when hot start is fetching the data when a black box is important sorry narendra please check your surroundings before you unmute please we have almost 130 people connected that may affect others please yeah any questions gopi okay so that's how it happens any streaming applications okay so the data have to reach let me take and as i told you right Hotstar is capturing the information through the video. The cricket match is getting captured. If it is not reaching to you, okay. If you are looking the 16th hour, suddenly 80th hour got started after some delay. After the 25th hour started, data is lost. It's not streaming for you. If data is lost, will you opt to the application again? No. Data loss can be of many reasons: network issue or server issue. Most probably server issues. they will maintain a very good network high costliest networks server issues because they have to withstand the load load is a biggest issue load have to i use hotstar entire globe is using hotstar for example entire india is using hotstar or entire globe is doing it it has to withstand the load if server is busy it can't able to take the new request or it is not sending the new sending the responses to the respective users if it lost the data then we will not opt to that right yes gopi is saying like for cricket match each ball of over we are able to see exactly we have to be very cautious about the data stream data handling this is not a batch data if batch data is lost before the process starts that's fine we can make the data available we can't take chances in doing the streaming information we should be very cautious about lo losing of the data we should be very cautious that is the reason or not to eradicate such issues eradicate such problems we got something known as mq like the people might be knowing few people might be knowing mq message queue to eradicate such issues that mean that mean to understand to make it understand okay we'll take a very layman status okay let's say the a is standing here let's say a is standing let's take the same example which i explained to you okay a is standing here b is standing okay this a is having right this a is standing bunch of fruits bunch of fruits he is having he start to throw each fruit here for example very thing in a very layman status he start to throw each and every ball to b but suddenly what happened after he throw three balls thrown three balls b stopped working due to some reasons he is taking rest he got three balls but when he throw the fourth one he is not responding it is lost he is not there to catch it fifth last he don't know that if he concentrate on whether it is reaching that he can't concentrate on throwing this so his work is just to throw the ball lost for example what i'll do is another i'll place another person in between his work is to throw his work is to catch 
that's a catch and what he is doing is he is he is he is taking the he is catching the fruit and he is cutting the fruit and sending the half fruits for example each fruit he, he is getting is cut it into half another fruit he is cut it into half that's his work that's his work his work is to just to throw his work is to catch the ball and make it half that's what his work is getting it all of you so far any questions here his work is to just to throw his work is to catch but suddenly what happened he got busy in cutting it into half and half he has got very busy in cutting the fruits he got very busy in cutting the fruits okay but he is not ready to catch the balls suddenly what happened all the balls lost so that is one of the reasons i make another person c to stand here i'll ask a a keep throwing balls to c i mean to say fruits to c this person work is to just catch this make available for him you not going to do any cutting operation here this will be completely thrown here then b when b is not busy okay he he cut he made cuts of fruits he got when he got he got free he will come and take it out here other fruits you can ask me what if c go down c will not go down because c is especially configured not to go down it has a fault tolerance very good fault tolerance i asked him if you if you are done i can't do anything so c is very cautious about it he will take it off it i configure c even though it something goes fail c will go c will c will become up so his work is not to processing cutting the ball cutting the fruits his work is not getting from a also a will throw to c b go and get from him that's it getting it all of you c work is just to catch the ball he will not even catch the ball so a will come and put and go tail keep on putting c will keep on storing b whenever it has work it will come and take it whenever it has a free time so most probably there will be delay in the information maybe b got busy and he took a new request later may be delay but loss you can't expect right okay i got a question kalid is asking does c communicates with a c doesn't communicates with a i'll make a to throw to c a throw to c that's it b come and take from c that's it you getting it any sequence to be followed exactly money c will take care of the sequence in an order okay this ball came first zero this gun this ball came second first this ball came third second offset this ball came fourth third offset starting from zero so it will make it in a sequence manner accordingly it will make it will make it will allow b to take it in a sequential order understood sesha is asking is there any acknowledgement from c or b to a no we if you want you can if you want you can acknowledge a from c or b if you want we can acknowledge it but we can't make a to concentrate on that otherwise a can i can concentrate on throwing the fruits everybody have their individual works simple his work is to throw a work is to throw b is once he got the fruits he have to cut it into half cut it into half is the work c work is to make it available make the fruits available for b the work help of c harini harina is asking how b know it has to take from c we have to configure i have to say a go and put it on c we have to say b go and take from c we have to say them we have to say them simple right so here the data will be captured similarly how the data is captured is there is a there is a data which we are getting right 
this is a server hot star server this is a hot star server okay in between hot star the once the data has been captured the match is getting captured here data got captured and data got destructed Khalid, I'll come to know how B knows has to get data to catch to see. I'll come to that. I told you, right? B, we have to ask B to configure from C. Okay, Sasha is asking how A know it reached properly to B. A, it's not the work of A. It's not the work of A. Okay. We'll discuss. We'll discuss. We'll discuss. We'll discuss. But, uh, since I just told, now, now just hand, now just see this question. Just, just see this explanation. Data has been captured, has been sent to Hotstar servers. If server is busy in getting the request, if it's not properly having the information, then the data has been lost. So that is the reason we keep uh, MQ in between, message queuing. I can't save it in a server. I can't save it in a file system, in a Linux file system, in HDFS file system, HD file system. I can't save it in a file system because file system will respond very late. MQ has been only configured for a temporary storage. Simple. The data will start from here, it will reach here. Data will start from here, it will reach here. Data will start from here, it will reach here. If this is not responding, at least data will reach here. This will come and take, the, take it from here. That's how the data goes. So many requests for every millisecond, there's so many requests will be going. We can't take a chance in making Hotstar servers will handle things. We can't rely on it. We can't rely on it. That's the reason we keep MQ in between. Uh, money is asking, so once it read, it will delete from MQ. Depends. Depends. Most probably, there is a TTL time. Time to leave. We can configure it. Once we once it consumes, we can have the fruit. I mean, we can have the data for some time. We have to configure that. Getting it? So simple. Data has been pushed to MQ. Data has been consumed from MQ. In a very high level to explain. Getting it, all of you. I can't answer all the questions at this moment due to the traffic, right? But at least I'll try to answer as much as I can. Yep. So it will. That's why we keep MQ here because MQ is almost a big concept. Like for my batch, 21 people who are attending today, I almost come in. Handled Kafka for almost six to eight, six to seven hours till now. Okay, so if you if you see MQ, this is the process. So coming to MQs, that's where my MQ will work. Everyone is clear with the basics of MQ so far. I'm not expecting much in this pan. At least you understood MQ, right? During the streaming applications, if I keep MQ in between, that will help me a lot. Just read this. Read, read this information. Just give a read. Clear, right? It, it is a sequence of data ready to get processed. Here, MQ plays a vital role in between. Similarly, similarly, let's 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 handle this. I have a Uber server which I explained yesterday, right? I have Uber server. I have I have the customer server. I have the driver server. Okay, this is Uber server. I have customer server. I have a driver server. Driver, sorry, driver phone. Sorry, should be phone. So let's say, for example, customer books the information, it will reach to the Uber server. Uber server will process your current location. Accordingly, it will send the request to the driver. Driver acts up six. Again, the information will come to Uber. Again, this data has been sent to the customer. As driver is moving from one place to other, you can able to see the information here. Right, maybe a bit delay, but at least you'll get it. Again, he'll move somewhat. 
you can able to see the information again he'll move some more you can able to see the information so say for example if if driver has been sent information to the server but server is not responding you lost the data you got six minutes more suddenly you got driver arrived will that not be a problem that means there is a loss in the driver location we didn't driver pickup location driver move location movement location has been ignored the data has been lost that is the reason for every every streaming information they'll keep an mq here any streaming data any streaming data they'll create an mq here they'll have an mq here right How M okay, Gaurav is asking how MQ handles message overflow. Okay, uh, I believe MQ will have fixed memory and receiver C is down. What happens in that case? Messages. Okay, you are saying if MQ got filled up. Okay, if I am specifically using MQ for data storage, I it's my responsibility to take the very good configuration. That's one of the issues. I do agree. We have to spend a lot of money for the server MQ servers. Right till Kafka or any open source message queue came into market, we used to say spend a lot of money for this MQ. Unless until I have MQ in between any streamings of data, I can't process the stream data. That is the reason we always have MQ in between. Right. So if I'm using MQ for for that purpose, I'm making my MQ for that purpose. I have to be very careful in configuring my MQ. Data should never go overflow. If the data is getting overflown, I have to get notified. I have to increase my server space. Prakash is asking, does MQ is the only method used for streaming data? See, MQ is an added advantage to not to lose the data. Doesn't mean that MQ streaming data will only come without uh, with, with one MQ. Not like that. MQ will maintain the data temporary data storage. Yes, yes, Gaurav. MQ overflow is a risk. I do agree. For that, see, any limitations comes, the solution also comes, right? The solution came as Kafka. We'll discuss. I'll tell you now. So everyone understood about the MQ, right? The basic information on MQ. We can't complete every MQ today, and at least the basic information of MQ, right? All of you. I'm just unmuting all of you. Don't check. Don't check whether you can unmute yourself. But if you have any questions, just unmute you. Okay. Any questions now, all of you? You can unmute and post your question. So just I have one question uh, uh, regarding that, suppose that uh, MQ space has been pulled, okay. And, and my customer data is not reached to that uh, proper end. So, so it's a temp after that. Uh, uh, it's a temporary storage. The message reached to that customer that MQ uh, space has been auto released. Okay. Coming to that. First of all, if I'm handling an application, first I'll see what is my data frequency, right? Before I configure, at least basic information on data frequency, data velocity. Another way I can say data velocity. How much speed the data is hitting? Accordingly, first I should configure. If yes, if my MQ got full, okay, it's a very big risk. It is not working as expected. It gone down completely. Then MQ can't able to store any extra data. First thing, but I can configure the TTL. TTL is time to leave. I can I mean if the data is getting consumed, I can make the data to leave immediately, or I can on a specific time I can make MQ to refresh itself. But the, before that, this is this is not a possible answer. But data frequency I need to take care. But unfortunately, the data is so huge than my expectation, MQ can't be able to withstand such data. 
obviously if my laptop is getting full definitely i have to clean up things or else i have to wait to extend my ram extend my hard disk right most probably these are the storage issues that is the reason we used to spend a lot of money increasing a lot of space until unless until we got few open source distributed mqs came into picture like flume and kafka clear are yes yes so so it's a, uh, just just i need a one so it's a configuration the moment i can configurable if if my uh, con data consumption is uh, successfully then we can uh, auto release from that mq uh, storage we can we can we okay, can release thank you yeah okay thank you how kafka is better than mq yeah evidence sheet kafka i'll come to that we just still in mq next slide is about kafka i'll mention any more questions galaxy m30 any questions or mute yourself please so that's a, that's mq so coming to kafka okay okay let's see how many my people will answer Okay, best twenty one people. If I ask you, what is the definition for Kafka? What will be your definition? Anyone from twenty one? Yeah, I just unmuted you. Yeah, it's a open source public subscriber distributed message queuing system. Okay, Nagrani. Yeah, that's open source. Uh, public subscribe. Distributed message queuing system. Publish, subscribe. Message queue. Please check your surroundings, please. Galaxy M30. Galaxy M30. Open source distributed publish subscriber message queuing system. You can say message queuing frameworks. First of all, okay, the advantage is here is it's a completely an open source. It's a completely distributed. That means I can create nodes. I can withstand the withstand the load by distributing the data among nodes. Instead of KPK, instead of having one laptop and increasing the RAM for that laptop, I can increase. The, I can if I have a two or three laptops, I can divide the burden. right hari any questions hello okay. yeah yeah sir actually uh, i am prem and uh, there is a question that uh, i have heard on the pre top of previous lecture i have heard one term is that that is the index lock so can you please also index blocking it's a very big concept If I say that now, people will get confused in this pan with the knowledge which I have right now. Okay. Index blocking is something very big regarding the offsets, the sequence. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so for, we will discuss. For now, let me explain just Kafka, the basics. Okay. Okay, sure, sir. Thank you. So sure, thank you. So it's an open source, distributed, public, subscribed framework. Okay. What is this framework? See, Kafka is just a software. Okay. You do next, next, next installation, right? Exe file. Similarly, it's a software. I take five laptops. I can configure Kafka in it. That makes a Kafka cluster. That means I told about an MQ, right? I can make this as Kafka. I can have one person here. I can make Kafka here with the distributed systems. I can have a consumer here. The one who produces the data is the publisher. The one who consumes the data is the subscriber. in other words we call him as a consumer we call him as a producer okay here i have kafka here i have kafka so publisher will be keep on publishing the data subscriber will be keep on consuming the data he will be producing he will be consuming 
that's where kafka stream so kafka is a distributor so it's a multiple node clusters one laptop many laptops come in to form a single server according to it's a single server but many hard disk many many commodity hardware come in to form just commodity hardware in sense very layman information just think it's a hard disk it's a just four laptops not even hard disk four laptops not exactly hard disk four laptops so it's a together kafka is nothing but an open source we can download it distributed distributed publish subscriber very important for you to understand publish subscriber what is publish subscriber is kafka will to be frank this is how this will clear the information publish subscriber pubsub we call it as pubsub pubsub is clarify this arrow we have to publish we have to subscribe it kafka will not go and get the publishing information kafka will not go and produce the data to a subscriber he doesn't work for him it is purely concentrating on catching the balls that's it publish throw the ball kafka will catch it subscribe on subscribe it will immediately it will make the data available that's the reason we call it as pubsub publish subscriber message queuing system Publish subscribe. I'm telling you again. We have to put it as a publisher. We have to take it as a subscriber. Kafka will not come to me to take it. Kafka will not come to me to put it. He will not come to me to deliver. He will not come to me to take. We have to put. We have to take. It will stand still. That's it. That's why we call it as publish subscriber MQ. Even though it it works with a multiple node, load will be distributed according to you. it's a single single server that's nothing but the di distribution uh definition what's the distribution definition multiple nodes come into form and make as single node that is nothing but distribution clear all of you publish subscriber message queuing system am i audible to everyone please put it in the chat yeah thank you yeah so it's a publish subscriber distribution system that's the reason so kafka will not take a burden of taking the data from the publisher it will not take a burden of putting the data to the subscriber it will it will handle both at a time prasanna is asking me what is the difference between kafka streaming and spark streaming okay prasanna it's a very big question i'll come to that okay i can explain about spark streaming in some time i'll i'll come to this question in kafka apart from distributed nature uh is there any difference between mq and kafka apart from distributed nature even few of the mqs are distributed uh, one plus i'm not sure what's your name one plus six okay but rabbit mq is not distributed first of all rabbit mq is not few of the mqs we have what are the mqs we we i came across rabbit mq active mq afka flu ibm web spare mq then what is flufka sometimes knife acts as an mq then jms etc right out of which here flume according to my knowledge flume kafka flufka comes under distribution publish subscribe model no sorry not publish subscribe flume is not pub sub it's a distribution not rabbit pub sub is something same publish means i have to publish i have to subscribe but flume has a capability message broker yes 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 we need ibm web spear message broker is an mq yes so here 
pups up is something very important i not concentrate on being bringing and getting it throw me take it throw me you throw me publisher you throw me subscriber you take it publisher you throw me subscriber you take it that's it that's how we have to we have to approach kafka that's a very basic information on kafka get get just read the information on kafka just a very basic give a reading we are just two slides ahead to start our hands on just give a read yes good to go okay ah uh, okay so, salman will discuss salman is it fine i'll call you yeah because we do have some more travel for uh, for the next Three to four weeks at least. We'll discuss. Yeah. So Kasim is asking, can you please explain the last point? Last point. Which point? This one. Okay. So it's not specifically designed for Hadoop. Rather, Hadoop ecosystem is one of the possible consumers. See, we call something as Hadoop ecosystems, right? Hadoop ecosystem means tools dedicated to Hadoop. Scoop is an ecosystem of Hadoop, right? Hive is an ecosystem of Hadoop, right? Right. So let's see. How my guys will answer? Bash twenty one. Okay. Can anyone answer whether Scoop is an ecosystem of Hadoop? Nagrani or yes, 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 yes. We know. Yeah. Yes. Hive. Yes. Yes. Pig. No. No. Spark. No. No. Spark is unified engine. Unified engine. So this is nothing but ecosystems. Are I making you clear, all of you know? Kafka is not an ecosystem of Hadoop. It's a separate entity, but it will support Hadoop. Put the data to Hadoop. We can put the, take the data Kafka and put the data to Hadoop. Clear, right? No. See, Prem, it is written in Scala in the sense Kafka is made of Scala. Doesn't mean that we can't connect Python to it. The framework has been built. Okay, how significantly the public subscriber different from MQ? Prakash will discuss because there are a lot of things to mention. Okay, how significantly the public subscriber different from MQ? See, uh, few frameworks will handle the pubsub, and also Plume will Plume has a capability to throw the data and uh, get the data. It has a capability to serve both, right? But it is concentrating on both. It will wait. Like, pro, like we have to send a message to producer. We can't acknowledge him. Please wait. I am serving something. We can't make it like that. We can't make MQ itself to go busy. We have to make always MQ to be freed, for at least to collect the data, in which the pubsub plays a vital role. Not only pubsub. We have Java pubsub as well. There is also public subscriber frameworks MQ. When we go with pubsub is. You don't worry for anything. You don't like. I have a requirement. I should not make my MQ to have a burden of collecting the data and delivering the data. State, stay together. State, state, stand alone. Getting it, Prakash? Yeah. So that's. It's actually a public subscriber. Scalable durability means we can have the default information. We can save the data for seven days. In, by default, we can save it in seven days. Scalability means we can scale the nodes. It's a distribution, right? We can stay scale the nodes at any time because of its distribution. I can increase my laptops. Okay, fault tolerance. If any node go down, another node can pick it up. So it's a bit of information on distribution. Each each word has a big meaning. But moreover, we can rectify it. Okay, real-time activity. As I told you, Scala written in Scala. It was first found by LinkedIn, and it's as I told you, it's just a part of Hadoop. It's not an ecosystem of Hadoop. 
is just a separate entity supports Kafka. That's what is Kafka introduction. Now coming to the next slide, guys, just concentrate. We are in the last slide of theory part today. We are in the very last slide of theory part. Okay. Just concentrate. This is something very important. Okay. What we're going to do right now is I have you. I have B, C, D. One, two, three, four. Okay, four. I have Kafka in between to catch to at least handle the handle the load. Okay, something very important. Please please concentrate. Okay. See if I want to make my A. To throw a ball, I mean, do they have some fruits? I have to make my A to throw a ball to one. I have to make my B to throw a ball to two. C to three, D to four. But everything is going through Kafka, right? But how come we differentiate each transaction? Okay, A to one, B to two. A should not throw to two. C should not throw to two. B should not throw to three. Three should not collect from D. So there is something that differences between the transaction. That is the reason we dedicate some workspace to this transaction. Okay, okay, okay. We dedicate some transactions, dedicated workspace for the transactions. Okay. Uh, Vinit is saying group ID, not exactly group ID, Vinit. I'll tell you. It's about the topic. Yes, I, it's topic. Okay. So we we dedicate some workspace in this Kafka for this transaction. Here's a pro these are the producers. Okay. These are the consumers. Okay. We dedicate some. So we have to say A. We have to say A. Dear A, please push it to this topic. This topic can be Q, W, R, T. Okay, what I'll do is I'll configure in A. Dear A, you have to push it through Q. Dear one, you have to take it from Q. Dear B, push it, push it to W. Dear two, push it from take it from consume it from W. C push it to R. Three, push it, consume it from R. D, push it to T. Four, consume it from T. This is how. We have to configure the transactions. We have to say to the producer as well as the consumer because of PubSub. Because of PubSub, we have to inform to both of them. Kafka is not Kafka is not if Kafka is not a normal traditional MQs. These are the PubSub. We have to say to them, take push it to Q, take it from Q. Push it to W, take it from W. Push it to R, take it from R. Push it to T, take it take it from T. We have to configure them. We have to say it. Hope you understand right now the better of PubSub, right? Yeah. Any questions here? Unmuting you now. Yeah. So just Arvind again. Uh, suppose that uh, producer A giving a request through with the help of you and consumer. Uh, uh, receiving Q. So, is it possible Q sent uh, producer can uh, take a uh, uh, con uh, consumer by R? You Q mean to say A wants, A wants to push it to R? Ah, uh, yes. Is Q as well as R, you're asking, right? Yes. Possible. Possible. Okay. But we have to say them. We have to say them. Please push it okay. to Q as well as R. We have okay. to contribute. Here, we can give any number of producers to a topic any number of consumers to a topic getting it but okay. we have to configure okay. it 
okay so we need to configure that no we have to say to yes 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 oh, okay. we can thank you yeah yeah Uh, I'll show you one plus. I'll show you the configuration. So topic could be more than one or more consumers. Yes, 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 possible, 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 possible. Okay. Now to that's it. So here, see, have a look here. Just last slide for the theory part. Okay. Later on, we're gonna start with hands on. Everything goes with hands on. Okay. Let me check my RAM. How much it is? Okay, twenty five percent. No issues. So see, there is a transaction between the server logs. Okay. direct connections front end server needs to put the data to metric analysis front end server needs to put the data to metrics database server push the data to metric analysis active monitoring wants to push the data to chart server so these are these are the publishers these are the like these are the producers these are the consumers but it's completely random to make everything available to make pubsec metrics to be in between i'll create a topic for each transactions same here metrics ui is not only consuming from front end server it is also taking the data from front this front end server also one of the line comes here one of the line comes here so same consumer getting the data from two producers so if i'm using a pubsub these two front end server data will be pushed to one topic from that topic metrics ui can consume getting it right all of you So just a kind of so I can create a public, I can create a topics here. I'll configure these two to go to one topic. Metrics way can consume it accordingly. Each transaction according to my requirement, I can create a topic and I can do the necessary configurations. Very basic information. Just, if you don't understand this, leave it. If you are very much clear about this diagram, well and good. Are you clear so far, all of you? yes any questions here you can post right now because once we start hands on you may get few of the questions any questions so far please post me So coming to the hands-on part, what we're going to do right now? This is where we got stuck up last week, right? With the services hands-on. So coming to the steps, what we're going to do right now? Okay, this is a hands-on doc. This is a complete hands-on doc. Spark code, everything we have it here. What we're going to do right now? The next slide is see guys. Next, what we're going to so what we're going to see as a part of uh, hands-on, right? Uh. streaming data to kafka hands on yes we can we can do a kafka hands on now creating a topic uh bisaj is asking me so many hits i'll tell you bisaj we can gonna, gonna send the web api data to kafka we'll discuss we, i'll show you okay yeah right now we can start hands on all the doubts will be clarified okay so what we can do right now okay streaming data to kafka so second thing knife integration to kafka okay then then i'll put an architecture design okay consist of both the both the hands on integrations will be helpful then some part of streaming information bit of 5 to 10 minutes of theory part of streaming then we start streaming uh, we gonna hand do a hands on spark streaming data consumption from kafka and we gonna put the we gonna process some data put the data to cassandra data, cassandra and data. yeah so coming to the first slide okay streaming data to kafka hands on sai at least let me discuss regarding the kafka sai we'll discuss please yeah requesting all of you to like at least when we are doing hands on definitely we'll we'll discuss we can't discuss everything in this 3 hours of span of workshop we'll discuss but yeah so kafka okay Coming to Kafka, what we're gonna do right now? Kafka expects Zookeeper server. We're gonna start the Zookeeper service. Okay. Then we're gonna start Kafka service. Okay. Once we start the Kafka service, we're gonna create a topic. Okay. We have to. We can create a topic and open 
producer console for that topic okay to produce the data we can directly produce the data using a command line prompt we can produce the data to the topic okay open consumer console for that topic to check whether the topic is working fine whether whether data reaching to the topic whether i can consume the data okay this is the first step so open consumer console for the topic open producer console for the topic this is nothing but testing testing completed testing of the topic completed let's discuss this later on i'll explain about the architecture later on i'll discuss about the architecture let's do this now okay concentrate on the hands on later on we'll see knife kafka integration then we're going to see uh, we have a break then we're going to see spark kafka integration spark processing spark stream data processing cassandra integration to kafka spark stream this is what we're going to do hands on now, okay everything going to be hands on from this minute okay so let me start this process zookeeper service this is one two this is going to be three this is going to be four this is going to be five so we are in the first step now okay zookeeper service start everything is configured already in my system so no worries i'm going to start the zookeeper service guys even though if you don't understand so far at least concentrate now things will be far better okay let me open a command line prompt so far good okay Okay, I'm starting the Zookeeper server. Okay, starting the Zookeeper server to make Kafka to work. Zookeeper should be there. Yeah, <laughs> guys, I can understand your cur your curiosity, but I'll explain about knife. Okay, X my about knife. It's gonna be it's gonna be future data processing. Knife is almost submerging into the market a lot. Okay. Okay, my zookeeper got started. Okay, zookeeper is a monitoring tool okay zookeeper is a yeah guys I, I definitely i'll give all the installation steps everything will be clarified please hold on please hold on please concentrate on hands-on for me because i have to be very much concentrated towards the hands-on i have to check memory heaps everything for now please check please hold on we'll definitely discuss yeah because i have to run many services now yeah thank you uh zookeeper okay uh siva is asking what is the use of having zookeeper see zookeeper is a monitoring tool siva okay kafka broker I, my kafka node is there right here kafka node need zookeeper service to monitor it because we need we should handle fault tolerance right for that zookeeper should be there sayed i'll share all the downloads all the docs please concentrate on hands-on for now okay please Please concentrate on hands on. Yeah, thank you. So, my zookeeper got started. Quorum peer mean is nothing but zookeeper. Done. Let me start the Kafka service. Let me start the Kafka service. 
to start the kafka service this is the this is the command Starting the Kafka service. Venkat is asking in real time scenario, do we need to start the same way? Yeah, like we have the remote servers, right, Venkat? We have the remote servers for that. So we have to start keep the things ready for Kafka. Okay. So we can start pushing the data to it. Yes. Yes. Just to check whether Kafka got started, we can give JPS in command line. Java processing services. Guys, it may be very, like, don't panic. Okay, so what is JPS, how he's starting? Because at least my my team, like this, my batch people almost crossed around almost, almost 80 hours with me. So they'll be knowing what is actually each command means. So, so just concentrate, okay, service got started. That is fine for me for today. Okay, so Kafka started, Zookeeper started. So what we're gonna do is, this is also done. Create a topic. Create a topic. Okay. Topic work, for example. I'm creating a topic to push the to push the data. Okay. Just keep looking into the hands-on dog. That is more than enough. You'll understand a lot of things. Okay. Just keep looking. Topic created. So this is also done. Just done. Topic creation is also done. Now I need to test the topic. Okay. Open a producer console because later on I can integrate with NIFI and push the data. Later on, through knife, I'm gonna push the data to this topic. For that, I need to check this topic, whether producing happening, whether consumption is happening. So this is a producer for this comment for this topic, producer consumer console for this topic. This is producer, producer for this topic, consumer for this topic. So topic name is topic work. Okay. So let me open a producer console. To push the data, I'm gonna type and push the data to this. Okay, that's it. Let me open. So ready to put. I can type and send the data to check whether the data is getting consumed. But better to check the consumption. Open the consumer data. Somehow we're not in the in the flow in the integration flow. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna push the data through NIFI. Okay. Moreover, have a look. That's it. So consumer is ready. So this is a producer. This is a consumer. It is ready now. Okay. Let me start pushing the data now. Okay. Can you see? Data is getting consumed in consumer side. Pushing the data now. Through topic. It is going through the topic to this transaction only to this transaction getting it all of you so far any questions here 
like that i can create any number of topics right now i ask, this is a producer right i configured at producer side this is topic work i configured in the consumer side this is topic work then only can able to see the data both the cases i am saying push to this topic consume from this topic push this topic consume from this topic so once i start to push the data i can able to see immediately in my consumer side so here when i start to push this data the data might not be from a same topic like the i can't able to, not maybe from same console i can maybe pushing the data from different sources okay so if i'm consuming if i'm producing through nifi okay let me check whether nifi got yeah i open two two it's not necessary to open two consoles maria is asking me whether you open two consoles i can i can open like single console like once i push the data i can go to the consumer to see whether to consume i open two yes 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 i open two for the just for understanding right so any i told you any number of producers can push the data right so this is one of the producers so let me open consumer console again okay this is consuming let me open another producer now what i am doing is now what i am doing is two producers i gonna use and i gonna consume this to the i gonna produce the same consumption this is p1 this is p this is p this can be c okay so let me open two producer consoles okay okay yes possible possible okay whether multiple consumers that's the next step i'll show that okay this is one producer for kafka topic work this is another producer for topic work this is another this is just one consumer okay this is zebron this is zebron analytics i can see another it is another producer this is from another producer can you see the data all of you same topic work same topic work two producers are pushing the data making you clear sai once it got consumed okay once it got consumed it will not consume again the same data consumer is already consumed right uh frame okay venkat is asking do you put the same topic yes i put the same topic can you see this yeah so i start with okay whether multiple consumers are possible okay let me open another consumer consumer console that will make clear clear idea these two are consumers these two are producers okay this is from producer to this is from producer one can you see that uh mastan it's a very big story between consumer ones and not consumer ones there is something as offset reset in kafka just explore on that offset reset two types of consumption models okay okay 
Exactly, Maria. Exactly. Maria is saying this is how multiple users are able to view the same hostel cricket. Multiple consumers. Simple. Multiple consumers. Right? So, so I'm just doing this as a guys, can you hear me? Yes, am I audible? 